Hi, welcome to my next video. We were quite busy with Kanat preparing for the Tokyo Design Festa event that was the last weekend, so I didn't have time to do much new art. So I wanted to show you a picture that I did some time ago and I did it to test a new sketchbook. I bought this Canson sketchbook to have something a little bit bigger than my usual landscape watercolor moleskin sketchbook. I wanted to test it with the watercolor set that I will be probably using outside. So I used my compact Holbein set. It's a small palette with 12 colors squeezed from the tubes. It fits also a water brush inside, some folded paper towels and a small watercolor uh, scrap paper to test the colors. It's really compact and I like to use it outside. But the first step was to do a light sketch with hard pencil. I think I used HB pencil for this. And when I was confident about the contents of the picture, I took my 2B pencil and did the lines with it. I wanted to keep it simple this time, so instead of scanning the lines after doing them, I just used the watercolors on the lines directly. Because this is more or less what I would do outside. I like the sketches that Hayao Miyazaki does with his watercolors a lot. He does them of course just to convey some ideas about the locations that he wants to use in the movies. So of course he has to keep them simple and very informative but also they are kind of beautiful and hard to replicate. I have been studying his works a lot and I want to incorporate some of the things I learned into my own paintings. And this is one of the sketches done with this in mind. This is not only a test of a paper, but trying to develop my style a little bit further. I'm painting an old tea house, and it has been moved from the original location to a Japanese garden near our house. And it's a part of a hotel garden, so the tea house is still in use, I can actually rent it if you want. I like it a lot, I think it's one of my favorite tea houses I've seen in Japan so far. It even has some plants coming out of the roof and some moss there and the stone slabs in front give a lot of character and they mirror uh, the tea house and the water that's in the back when they are wet so it's a pleasure to paint them. In my paintings I try to keep the layering so the glazing to a necessary minimum and I tend to test the colors before I apply them uh, to the paper on a scrap uh, watercolor paper that I have on hand. This is how I can just choose the right color and then build the picture element by element just like that. And actually I wanted to try the watercolor paper here but I liked the thing I saw on my scrap watercolor paper, the cheap one that I used to test the colors uh, more than what I got here and this is not a good thing. If you ever paint it with watercolors on a paper that's not meant for watercolors even though it's thick and nice you know probably what I mean. The color gets dull and really flat and it doesn't have this nice watercolor texture that you expect from good quality paper. And this sketchbook was just like this. I don't really like how the colors turned out and uh, probably I will have to use this sketchbook with my acrylic gouache or poster colors that don't require such a good paper. Overall, I don't recommend this sketchbook and I already bought something different for my outside watercolor sketching. When I finished coloring this picture, I thought that it looked really flat and the lines became almost invisible. I think it's also caused by the paper in some degree. I wanted the picture to pop a little bit more and to add a little bit depth to it. So I decided to use ink and my Copic Multiliner to add the lines. This is also a little bit similar to what uh, Hayao Miyazaki does in his works. By doing this and with a little bit help of Photoshop and some post-production tricks, I managed to save this picture and it looks like this. As usual, you can see the picture in full details on my blog. I hope you learned something from this experiment as I did. Feel free to comment, share and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye!